Katy Perry, Dark Horse, 101, WIXX, 809. I'm Otis in for Murphy this week. He's on vacation and he's missing a pretty momentous occasion. This is huge. Uh, this is a big deal. I, this is a big deal. We have this a is, very special guest. We do. Hillary from the Timber Rattlers. Oh, God. Just, oh, okay. oh look at her. She hopped up to the mic. She was so ready to do this. We're, we're going to delay you for just a moment because this is, this is a big thing. Nick, this is a big thing. You want to take this away? From the great city of Milwaukee, Algonquin for the good land. Oh God. Or it might, although it's also meeting place by the water, which might be Menominee, which I should know, this but is I, not he may be able to right now. Please make this intro take as long as physically possible. Would you like me to go on? <laughs> this, this is what happens. I get blamed because things take a long time, oh but you guys God. deviate. Now we're See? All right. Anyway, okay, let's just do this. Right. Well, Member of the brother. Special Olympics Wisconsin Board of Directors, <laughs> a man crazy enough to have rappelled over the side of Lambeau Field, Miller Park, and has now decided to do it again after doing Miller Park again. He is my older brother. My mother likes him best because he's on TV. I don't think it's just your mother. I think it's no, your father, he's the family your sister, favorite. I was say, your pretty wife, much everybody. Your kids. Even everybody. in this area, people say, Are you related to Vince? He's much better looking. Hey, well, that's, he's on TV. I know. Vince Vetrano, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Hello. <laughs> so with I feel that, like you're used to not being able... intro. I don't know how much time you budgeted for the in- interview, but uh, are we out of time? We are Thanks officially done. Me. Thank you so much. It's 8-11 now at WX. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. We've got a huge event coming up for Special Olympics that, well, it's ongoing. So you had the Miller Park last week. We've got Lambeau Field next week. It's called Over the Edge. And it's a massive fundraiser for Special Olympics, Vince. And you're on the board. This is big to you guys. Is this the biggest one of the year that you do in terms of raising money? Overall, uh, have you got you guys have Polar Plunge up by you. Mm-hmm. You know where people jump in the frozen body of water. Now I know up in Green Bay that happens more often when it's not necessarily affiliated with a fundraiser. <laughs> but uh, no, that's that's probably our biggest, Nick is um, the series of plunges that we do across the state where we'll raise almost a million dollars for Special Olympics Wisconsin in a, a, a series of events. But this is up there. I mean, uh, we do we did Miller Park the other week here where we're repelling off of the, the side of the building, and then Lambeau Field is coming up as well. Now, are you in? Have you committed to actually yeah. doing it? Yeah, I'm in. 1 p.m. next Friday. Okay, so he- Nick is in. So uh, I will uh, acknowledge that you're actually doing me a solid on that, so I appreciate it. <laughs> yep. I will um, acknowledge you as my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, you mentioned this being a momentous occasion. Otis, let me let me tell you, and Katie, I have not been invited. In fact, I invited myself this time, and it was only for the children. Yeah, and we- <laughs> I'm like, hey, can I get some airtime maybe on your radio show, like, you know, to help promote Special Olympics Wisconsin. So it had to be for a good cause. I have heretofore still yet to be invited. Well, I noticed that you did try to book it last week when Nick was gone, and I'm sorry that we couldn't make that happen. <laughs> I really apologize for that. It really would have been best that it, way. I think it would have been, yeah. Yeah, yeah it would have kept things very smooth. Why does your mother love you more than Nick? Why, could you give us a couple of reasons? Why is it that you're the better child? I mean, the TV is obvious, and, and I'm looking at your Facebook page, and uh, you're a much better looking man, but what else? Oh, but what else is it? What is this even? What I is mean, happening? it's true, but you don't you don't bring it to light. Like you don't say it out loud. Are we going to talk about the event at all, or are we just going to rip me? I, I would dispute that that characterization of our family life. I don't know that she loves him more. I mean, we're we're closer in proximity. No, we're around a little more. bit more. She gets to see the grandkids a little more often. Yeah. I keep trying to bring Nick back here to Milwaukee, but he won't come. Apparently, he likes you guys. Well, I don't blame him. I'm from there, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can come. No, we're good. We're good here. We're good in our vortex. All right, so the... No, the- I mean- uh, I'm glad that, that he's on he's on the show with you guys. I mean, it's it's great, and we're we're very proud of him. I love coming up to visit because you guys know I was up in Green Bay. I you know, went to St. Norbert and started at WFRV, and actually brought Nick on as the call screener when I was doing the show with Mino. So um, I love getting back up to Green Bay as often as as we can, and uh, at least now we have a place to crash. That Nick's in the new house. So yeah, pretty much he got you the job. He got you the oh, story. Oh, yeah, totally pretty much foot in the, the door. story that's told up there. I'm you sure. are the greatest brother. You really are. I feel He's like this man. was a pity. Like, a like, you know, you guys, you should, I mean, I know you like me, but he has good qualities, too. Yeah. <laughs> he could be a phone screener. You like him. Give him time. He'll grow. I think he's going to do just great. He'll I grow. just really want to talk Mackinac Island with Vince. That's what I want to do. Worst trip ever. Uh, yeah, we heard about <laughs> that. <laughs> I told you. Because Murphy is in Mackinac Island as we speak, and Nick and I both warned him, do not go. It's awful. 
Well, maybe I, as an adult, I don't know, but we went, Katie, when we were kids. I was, what, Nick, 15? Yeah, yeah. Which would make you 11? I was 11. Okay, and then our little sister, who was like five or six, okay? So, I mean, I always tell people, you know, Mackinac Island, yes, journey back into a time. Back to a time when there was nothing to friggin' do. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a, we have no cars here. Well, that's right. great. It's a There's wonderful nothing escape. To do. You walk around and go to a fudge shop and then a t-shirt shop and then, hey, here's a dumb fudge. And then maybe you can ride a horse. Good I, times. Again, it's like the Dells without a water park. <laughs> it is. Like, it hey, is. It's all the right. fun of the Dells without the fun. And the greater insult is the comparative nature of it when you have to go up against your friends who come back from Disney yeah. or, yeah. The, you know, or anywhere. <laughs> We're in Chicago, Europe. Chicago. I don't, Dubuque. I don't know. So you come back and they're they're regaling you with these tales of, Mom, of they creatures and rides. And shoot, anybody that went to Great America for a weekend or shopping at Gurney kicked the crap out of that when you're 11 years old and you're dodging horse manure and eating fudge. We could do that yes, at we were home. On an, we were on an international vacation. If you recall, we did go via Sault Ste. Marie, Canada. Yeah. Well, <laughs> another <laughs> wise choice. Another kid to, left the country that summer. <laughs> Not a lot. To <laughs> ride the train. I feel like that's how maybe Joe sold it to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's just brutal. All right, so uh, but that rather reminds me of the Over the Edge event. Though, you guys have heard the story about how, again, there was nothing to do, so I will defend it to an extent. But Nick was crazy about wanting to get, you could rent a carriage, <laughs> and then, but it, you, it doesn't come with a driver. Like, the car you will take the carriage, and someone must have command of the carriage. I don't know. We're not horse people. I don't even know what that's called, but I know it's not what Nick said. Nick said, my mom said, well, who will drive it? He said, Nick said, I know how to direct a horse. I went to Y camp. Camp Minicom. So he has this vision at 11 years old of trotting all over like these people, pedestrian-filled streets of Mackinac Island. When this 11-year-old atop this carriage and all of us riding along. <laughs> Are you crazy? Uh, Dreams I, do come true, Nick. They was, come true. I was being a leader for the family. Someone had to step up in that moment. Because you're, really, you're known for being a decisive person. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Who will direct this carriage? I will. Well, your brother. I will. Your brother I will direct the horse. Your brother is leading now as he's rappelled down, and you're going to do this. We're when going is over this? the edge. Next, week. Next Friday right. is and Saturday is the event as well. You can check out specialolympics.org. All of the fundraising events. Events. I know you have a web page. I've got a web page for fundraising as well that we'll link to on Facebook and Twitter and everything else. Uh, trying to raise a lot of money to watch us. Go to the bathroom but in her pants. Basically. It's not that bad. It's the first step. And honestly, I've done it four times now. I did the Lambo one. I did You're Miller crazy. Park and two others uh, in downtown Milwaukee. It's scary. I mean, and, and to speak honestly for a second about about Special Olympics, part of the part of the reason we do this as a fundraiser is because it's supposed to be a little bit scary. It's supposed to cause the the, the supporters uh, of our organization to kind of feel what our athletes go through, and they have to to overcome challenges in their life. Uh, a lot of them just to get out of the house in the morning, much less to step on the stage and, and to compete on the athletic fields and the courts. And so we want that for our supporters to, to feel that challenge of having to overcome that fear. But then to get to the bottom and to realize you've been supported and there are a lot of people there who are cheering for you. A Special Olympics athlete will put a medal around your head when you hit the bottom. Um, well, hopefully you don't hit the bottom. Right. You know what I mean? How about if we just, uh, when we reach the bottom? It, it's really cool. And, and they're so appreciative of the help and support. And Nick, seriously, though, thank you for, uh, for doing this. Uh, I know this has been my cause and something I'm interested in. So it means a lot to have you on board to help out. I'm really looking forward to it. I really am. I can't wait. I can't wait to do it. And I hope everybody steps up. Again, we'll have that link. Please support it if you can. Anything we raise is awesome. So uh, we'll get that up online for you. Thank you, Vince Vetrano, the uh, more loved of the Vetrano brothers. We appreciate you calling. Oh, for Katie, you tell, you tell Murphy, uh, again, I'm available for invite anytime. Still waiting on the invite. So whatever you guys need, you know where to call, you know where to call me. You can always confirm. So maybe around Christmas, you'll have to tell the cancellation story with me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you, not, so you told that, right? Oh, yeah. All, All right, maybe we could do a tandem. First ever <laughs> broadcast history, first ever tandem uh, dramatic reenactment. <laughs> I, I, would, I would pay for this. I would just... <laughs> Thank you for calling. I'm in for that. Vince, for that, we appreciate all the work you're doing. Thanks for calling Thanks, in. Thanks, Vinny. Yep. You bet, guys. 819 WIXX. Good morning.